What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for watching. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Robert. I'm the owner here at Studio RSR. Today we're gonna to be talking about all the SPL upgrades you can get for your GR86 or your new BRZ. You guys have probably seen in a few of our other videos, we always try to highlight the fact that doing SPL upgrade parts or solid suspension upgrades are a big, big advantage for the money you spend versus what you benefit from it. Real quick guys, we'll get back to the video in a second. Wanted to take this opportunity to announce and make sure you guys know that our Black Friday Friday sale is going on right now. Not just for the SPL parts that are in this video, but for Recaro seats, Sparco seats, obviously our roll cages and rear seat deletes, and a few other items. So check that out. We'll put the link in the comment section below and uh, feel free to reach out to us. Back to the video. So before we dive deep into all the different upgrades that SPL offers for your GR86 or BRZ, just in general, upgrading to aftermarket suspension, you get a few general benefits. So the first being that you get solid spherical bearings. So what that means is that on a stock arm and in a stock connection, you have factory rubber. Even though this rubber is very strong and hard, this moves around. With a solid spherical bearing, you get a completely stiff setup where you're not getting any slop, you're not getting unwanted movement during any of the suspension travel. So you can see the difference here between the factory rubber and a solid spherical bearing. The other benefit in general too is that when you're upgrading your car, uh, suspension is obviously key. So any sort of changes you make from factory, you wanna be able to dial it in exactly exactly to how it should be to how you drive and to the weight of the car and what you're going to be using the car for. As you can see here on a stock piece, you're limited to what the factory allows for alignment setup, you know, using eccentric bolts. But with an SPL setup, you get the benefits of full adjustability and full tuning to whatever you'd like it to be at. All right, so we, right now we've got everything lined up in a way where we recommend, you know, whether you get the full kit or not. We like to start with the front bump steer tie rod kit, then you move on to sway bar end links, and then the control arms front and rear, tow arms and traction rods, and the eccentric lockout kit. The reason we always suggest to our customers that start out with the front bump steer kit is that most of the time, a lot of people are just doing lowering springs or coilovers and not really dialing in their suspension setup or wanting full spherical solid bearings instead of bushings. So with the front bump steer tie rod kit, whenever you lower a car, that changes the suspension geometry, meaning that while the wheel and tire are moving up and down and the suspension is moving through its motion, the connection from the steering rack to the wheel hub and suspension area changes. So well, all this is while your suspension is moving up and down this is your steering rack imagine this being too low and it was never designed to be that way so when a when the bump happens in the middle of a turn and imagine this is kicked out all this changes and there's a bunch of graphs on online and you can learn about bump steer uh, we'll put in a little graph here as well so you guys can see that but this is probably the best value you can get that makes a huge, huge difference when driving your car and you can feel immediately when you go over a bump during a turn. The next thing that we always recommend, since a lot of people like to upgrade their sway bars, is having the SPL fully adjustable sway bar end links. So front and rear. Uh, I believe I've got the front one in my hands right now. But just like earlier we were talking about, you also get the spherical bearings instead of the factory rubber in the end links. Solid spherical bearings provide that benefit of not having that unwanted slop. The other benefit too is that when you upgrade your sway bar, it could start to intrude, depending on what brand you have and thickness, intrude on the rest of your suspension, especially if you get a new alignment setup. So with the SPL adjustable sway bar end links, you're able to place the sway bar exactly where it needs to be and change the settings of as you go. So those two first things are kind of like what we suggest uh, to begin with. These next few things are gonna be things that if you're really, really looking to get the suspension setup on your car dialed in and then obviously have a full spherical bearing setup without any of the rubber bushings. The biggest thing obviously unfortunately on Daniel's car we've already got the front lower control arm in but we do have the rear control arm out so Again, you can see how many different places SPL engineered this rear control arm to, to mount to certain areas. This is compared to the factory setup where you only get that choice. And here you can just get all that, dude. And again, on the obviously this rear lower control arm helps find camber from the lower side. So this helps bring the camber settings into exactly where you want it to be. And obviously this keeps it where it should always be. And again, it's the same for front and rear. So moving on to once you upgrade to, you know, control arms and you're dialing in your camber, whenever you change one part of alignment, whether it be camber, toe or caster, they all kind of change together to a certain extent. So if you add 
too much negative camber, your toe and your caster will also be affected heavily. And moving on from that, you then have the advantage of not only the adjustability of your toe, but you also have the spherical bearings again. So when you, again, when you change your camber, it changes everything else. And then obviously when you're in a static position, you're not gonna notice it as much, but when it through kinematics and as the suspension moves up and down, all these geometries change. So that's why we always recommend getting these installed and set up by a trusted alignment shop. We've got Chew Works here in the in-house um, and he's able to get exactly what specs and alignment and setup with the SPL stuff fully adjustable. So especially on the rear, when you add the lower control arm to get the camber setting you want, the toe gets heavily affected. So this is the factory toe arm. And as you can see, there's zero adjustment on this. Plus it's a rubber pushing. With the SPL upgrade, you're able to exact get the toe to exactly what you want, fully adjustable, very high quality with solid spherical bearing. So once you've got everything dialed in as much as you want to the exact degrees and to the exact setup that you want, you want to make sure that nothing moves around. Um, the eccentric bolts on your suspension uh, do have a tendency, depending on how hard you drive the car or where you drive the car, to move throughout time. So the last thing we recommend is the SPL eccentric lockout kit. So lastly, to round it up, one last recommendation is that because of the precision of these parts and how they need to be installed and set up correctly, always get them installed by a professional performance shop or an alignment shop, and that way you'll know that they'll never come loose or they'll, they'll never bind and make any weird noises. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website, www.studiorsr.com, where we carry the full suite of SPL upgrades for any car. Right now, we've got Daniel Song's GR86 wide body build getting prepped for GTA. So we're going to cut over to Anthony, show you guys a bit of the install. But uh, if you guys want to see more of this build, check out our videos on our channel. And uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs>